Welcome back to my tutorial. It's an amazing total blessing. This is the continuation of the previous video where we expected to calculate the simple standard deviation of the student's marks. Please do well to watch this video to the end to get clarity about this challenge. We'll go now. This is the formula for calculating the standard deviation of our group data. We're going to generate values for each of these variables here. All right, we have a square column. S square simply means the square of each of the midpoints. The first row we have 46.6 square gives 2162.25 followed by 54.5 square 2970.25 62.5 square. So we're going to fill the rest of the spaces by taking the square of each of these. Now we'll proceed to FS square column. FS square simply means frequency multiplied by S square. So for the first row, we have 3 times 2162.25. Next, we have 3 times 2970.25 gives 5 times 3906.25. So we're going to fill the rest of the spaces by applying the same rule. Now we'll sum all this together. 64x is 0.75 plus 8910.75 plus 19531.25 plus 69583.5 plus 61622.5 plus 74822.5 lastly plus 44651.5 we have summation f summation f value is 50 summation fs r square we get value for summation fs to be 3725 3725 square gives us 1385625 five divide by summation f which is 50 so dividing that by 50 gives us 2775 12.5 summation f minus 1 summation f value with this say is 50 minus 1 now we'll substitute all these values into our formula we we'll go now we have 285608.5 minus 2775 12.5 gives 8096 divide by 49 that gives 165.22 the square root of 165.22 equal 12.85. And so the standard deviation of the student's max is 12.85. We proceed to the next challenge, which says use the method of assumed mean to calculate the sample mean and standard deviation of the mass. In our table here, we could see x minus a. x in this context is each of the values of the midpoint minus a is the assumed mean. Meaning that we have to assume any of these values to be the mean. Let's assume 70.5 to be the mean. First row will be 46.6 minus 70.5, followed by 54.5 minus 70.5, minus 16 here, 62.5 minus 70.5 70.5 minus 70.5 zero here so we we'll apply the same rule to fill up the rest of the spaces here next column we have fd fd simply means frequency times deviation from the mean the first row we have three times minus 25 minus 72 next three times minus 16 5 times minus 8, 14 times 0, 0 here. So we apply the same rule to fill up the rest of the spaces here. The next step is to get the summation of all these values. Minus 72 plus minus 48 plus minus 40 plus 0 plus 80 plus 160 and lastly plus 120 equal 200. Zero, zero. Now we we'll move to the D square column. D square simply means the square of the D values, right? And so for the first one, we have minus 24 square, 5, 7, 6, minus 16 square, followed by minus 8 square, 64, 0 square, 0. So we apply the same rule to fill up the rest of the spaces here. Fd square column. Fd square simply means frequency multiplied by each of the values of d square. So for the first row, we have 3 times 5, 7, 6, 3 times 2, 5, 6, 5 times 64, 320 here, 14 times 0, 0 here. So we apply the same rule to fill up the rest of the spaces here. We are expected to add up these values here. 1728 plus 768 plus 320 plus 0 plus 640 plus 2560 lastly plus 2880. 
gives 8896. This is the formula to calculate the mean mass of the students using the assumed mean method. The formula is A plus summation FD over summation F. So we substitute all the values we've gotten so far into this formula. Here we go now. A, we did say A is the assumed mean and we assume the mean to be 70.5 plus summation FD. We had 200 divided by summation F, which we had 50. So here we have 70.5 plus 200 divided by 50 gives us 4. And so 70.5 plus 4 gives us 74.5. The mean mass of the students using the assumed mean method is 74.5. This is the formula for calculating the standard deviation of our group data. We have summation FD square. Our FD square value we got 8896 over summation F. Summation F value is 50 minus summation FD over summation F. Remember we got summation FD over summation F to be 4. R square. Moving forward we have 8896 divided by 50 gives 177.92 minus 4 square gives us 16. 177.92 minus 16, 161.92. And so the standard deviation will be square root of 161.92, 12.72. So the standard deviation of the mass of the students using the assumed mean method is 12.72. I hope this video is helpful to everyone. Please stay tuned for the next video where we'll calculate the semi interquartile range of the distribution. Thank you so much for watching. Please do well to like this video, leave a comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. Bye.